Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to change the register page from start to end. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to override the default page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to pages new visual force page. I'm going to call it register page BIE body include n. And we're going to add that. The next step is to do view page source. We kind of need to find the script template. Since there's a custom field, I'm going to search for that because that's pretty easy to find. Yep, there it is. So I'm going to copy the script tag all the way. And I'm going to paste it into IntelliJ. And in order to see if it's mine, I'm going to add, let's go into custom field one. So the scenario is, I want these custom field one and custom field two to be favorite coffee and then uh, favorite tea. So, just because I want to move fast, I would change the page label, but um, I'm just going to do favorite coffee. Don't do this. And then I'm going to do favorite tea. And then I'm going to save the page. We're going to go back and then we're going to do control shift R. But as you notice, our page will look the same because we need to go into custom settings. So you're going to go to CC admin, default store, and we're going to go to configuration settings. We're going to hit new. We're going to do body includes end enabled. Then we're going to look for the site register page and we're going to do true. We're going to hit new again. Body includes end. Page include name. C under, oh, <laughs> site register. That comes next. C underscore underscore register page BIE. Create. Now we go into global settings and we're going to build a new website. Okay, it's done. I'm going to activate it. And I'm going to deactivate this one. And we're going to go back. Let's see if anything's changed. Ah, it has changed. So we have favorite coffee and favorite tea. Now the next step we're going to do is we want to override the one of the logic, the service logic classes. So I have some code prepared in Notepad++. So right now, once you do favorite coffee and favorite tea, it'll go to um, custom settings, but it won't go to the favorite coffee and favorite tea in account. Um, so we need to do it in one of these service provider classes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up IntelliJ. And I'm going to go to classes, new Apex class. And I'm going to copy this name here. Okay. And I'm going to copy this code. And I'm going to save. So basically, we're extending CC Logic account create account. 
we're overriding the create out account function and then I'm doing favorite coffee and favorite tea based on these custom fields and then I'm setting them to null I don't think you have to do this but it's just me being careful and then you put it back and you return it all right but this won't work we need to we need to go back to CC admin you're gonna go to default store service management and we're gonna go down here I'm gonna copy this name again instead of C underscore underscore we're gonna do C dot it okay and you know what you guessed it we're gonna build it again All right, build. All right, it's done building. I'm gonna activate it and deactivate the old one. And then I'm gonna do a control shift R refresh on this page and we're gonna try it out. All right, miss, I don't know, hello there. company name hello there favorite coffee ice latte cinnamon spice I'm just gonna use old data I guess <laughs> all right let's see if this works submit All right, so I'm gonna go back into Salesforce and we're gonna look at contacts. I'm gonna do all contacts. We have our hello there. We're gonna see any details. We're gonna go to account because this is where the information would be located. We're gonna have details and Here's our fields that are filled out, ice latte and cinnamon spice. So that's a very, very basic override of the register page. In my projects, all I've had to do was edit two fields and since the custom field values were already there and then put data was passing them in, that's what I've used. I'm gonna research, research ways of how to do three or four because obviously we're gonna have to change the approach, but. If you have something real simple, you only need to change one or two fields, then um, this solution would be good. Okay, bye.